welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. <laughs> you are fabulous. All right, so today's video, you guys, this is a Christmas in July. I'm so excited about this video. I've been wanting to put out one of these for a while. I wanted to bring you guys some new 2023 Christmas DIYs. These are super simple and a lot of fun. They turned out very cute. All right, let's jump right in. y'all so for this first diy i grabbed two of these little boxes trays from the dollar tree along with two of their wooden christmas trees now i grabbed some of my spackle this is just light spackle from the dollar i think it came from the dollar general actually but you can also get it at the dollar tree and i just used that to fill in my hole at the top of the tree now i'm going to use some hot glue and we're just going to add it on both sides of this uh tray i messed up because i actually added way too much glue like i added it in you know like too much too far out on each side and so I ended up having to go back and like scrape hot glue off but it ended up working out in the end so no big deal but just make sure that you're gluing only the tree to the box not the box to the tree and your table <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say anyways you can see how I glued these boxes to those trees I'm then going to take my antique wax and also the color sage by Waverly. Guys, this sage color is so, so pretty. I absolutely love it. Like, I would like to paint a wall in my house this color. It's so pretty. But anyways, so I used the antique wax just to paint both of the boxes with. And once I got the paint on there, I went back with a paper towel and just wiped them just to use this as like a stain. Once I had both boxes uh, painted and, and wiped back off, I used that sage color to paint both of the trees. And guys, they turned out so, so pretty. I'm telling you, this color is just, ah, oh, I love it. It's like a gray green, if that makes sense. It's got a green tint to it, but it almost looks gray. It's just so pretty. I love this color. But I painted both of the trees with that. And I was having to be like super careful. I tried not to get it on the boxes. I messed up a couple places, but no big deal. I just grabbed a baby wipe, wiped it back off, and we were good to go. But I used that sage color to, co to paint the inside and the outside of both of those trees. Guys, this turned out so, so cute. It's just something simple, but you can dress it up however you want. You can put whatever you want in it. I added some florals, but you could use this for organization for heaven's sakes. It's just cute. number two and I'm so excited about this one I used a thrifted frame actually this frame was given to me as a matter of fact um, a good friend of mine she drops off little goodies at my house all the time you know who you are and I love you and I thank you very much and this came very much in handy because I actually used it the very next day after you dropped it off but anyway so I grabbed this frame and the 2024 calendar you guys I just found these calendars at the Dollar Tree. If you have not seen that Dollar Tree haul video that I put out, go check it out. I found lots of cool goodies. Anyway, so I grabbed my frame. I painted it black. 
I just used a scrap piece of cardboard that I had. I used my fingernail to kind of line it to figure out exactly the size that I needed for the inside of that frame. And then I cut it down to size. I'm using a piece of the peel and stick wallpaper from the Dollar Tree. This is something new. I just found these pieces and they're so, so pretty. Now I started out with this piece and look at how pretty that would be if you just left it just like that. Just the piece of peel and stick wallpaper and the frame. But I wanted to use this calendar piece. It is so, so pretty. So I grabbed it from my calendar. I used a little bit of water on a paintbrush to lightly outline the outside edge of this calendar piece. And then I just simply ripped around the edges. Super duper simple. You want to pull towards yourself when you're ripping. You don't want to rip away because you just don't have as much control with it. But I learned that from a uh, country charm Tracy. <laughs> I did anyways, but it, is, it does work better. Now, I went through several different pieces of the peel and stick wallpaper to decide which one I wanted to actually use because the first one I thought was too busy. And then I liked the shiplap, but I also liked the this um, brick. I thought it looked pretty neat as well, but it's just not something that I would use in my decor. Also, the black leather would look really cool underneath this, but I didn't want to do that with my black frame. So, what I did was just paint right over the top of that peel and stick wallpaper. I hate it that I, that I wasted that piece, but I had already stuck it down to the cardboard. So, hey, anyways, $1.25, it'll be okay. So, I painted it with that same sage color that we used on the last project. I then grabbed some Aileen's Tacky Glue and a little bit of water that I have mixed together. I use it just like Mod Podge. I added it to half of the piece of the calendar page, and then I simply added the calendar page directly down to my cardboard. Now, once I had that kind of padded out and stuck down a little bit, I finished adding the uh, glue mixture to the back of my piece of calendar page, and I simply smoothed it out with my hands. I used my paintbrush to go around the edges to make sure that that was really good and stuck, but super, super simple. I used my heat gun to dry this. Now, you can use your heat gun to dry that glue. It, it works perfectly. And I did mess up on one little spot. I had to go back and use my paintbrush. Um, I had to peel a little bit more of the paper away. And when I did, I, I kind of nicked it. So I did go back and paint that one spot. But once that dried, I added it back to my frame. And then I just used regular old duct tape to hold this together. And guys, this is so pretty. I feel like it is super classy. And I love that it is that calendar. I just love those calendars this year, guys. is one of my favorites. I grabbed four of these little toy soldiers from the Dollar General store last year. They were a dollar a piece. They have these types of ornaments all the time. And then I've got a set of napkin rings from the Dollar Tree. Now, the first thing I did was heat up the napkin rings because they had this little bamboo like strip that went around them, but it was glued down very, very good. So I didn't want to rip it or, you know, anything like that. So I just heated up the um, glue and then I was able to take the little strip right off. No big deal. I then began to work on my little toy soldiers. Um, I cut the hanger part off of the top of their heads with just with my regular 
cutters, uh, wire cutters, and then I was able to sand that down really nicely, actually, with just some regular old sandpaper. Very simple. Once I had, see, it just sanded down perfectly, you guys. You could not tell that there was a hanger there whatsoever. I then grabbed some black chalkboard paint. Now, this would have been a lot easier to do had I had um, spray paint, but I didn't have any black spray paint on hand. So I just went ahead and painted these with that black chalkboard paint. I painted the um, toy soldiers along with the napkin rings. Now, once everything was dry, I reattached the little bamboo strip around each of my napkin rings. I just thought that added an extra little element to it, and I liked the way that it looked against that black. Once I had those on, I added some hot glue to where the seam of those bamboo strips met, and then I added my little toy soldier. Super, super simple, you guys. These turn out so cute. And the thing is, you could customize these for whatever kind of decor that you have. If you do not like that, I, that you know, the black um, toy soldiers, you could leave them with the, the regular colors or any kind of ornaments you could do this with. I grabbed some plaid napkins. These are like Christmassy looking napkins from the Dollar General store. They were $4. I also got these last year during the Christmas time. And I just folded them from one corner to the other, slid my little napkin ring right up through it, and then pulled it through. Now, there are several different ways of, you know, tying your napkin or however you fold it, and there are lots of YouTube videos that will show you how to do that, but this is the way I did it. I think it turned out super cute, and you've got to let me know what you think about these in the comments. Okay, so for this next one, and it is so, so simple, guys. I grabbed this uh, sign off of the clearance rack at the Dollar General store. I think I gave maybe $3 for it. I also have a little grapevine wreath from the Dollar Tree, a branch of the berries from the Dollar Tree, and also a package of garland ties that I think I got at the Dollar General store for a dollar. Now, the first thing I did was just remove the wreath that was already on this little sign. You could do this to any of these home signs, guys. Any home sign that you have, you could totally do this project with. You're just gonna take the O off or whatever's there for the O and then make yourself a little Christmas wreath. So that's exactly what I did. I just added those garland ties around that grapevine wreath and then I added several, several berries to this. I added some hot glue on either side of the board and then I stuck down my little wreath. And guys, this was so incredibly simple and like I said, you could do this to any home sign and check it out. I think it's pretty. I mean, it is definitely Christmas. You could do any of your regular decor and turn it Christmas.
for this last one, and probably my favorite from the video, I have got three sets of these DIY wooden Christmas, um, I guess they're like table topper decor pieces. Now, what you do is paint or stain, or you could leave them the raw wood, but you're going to slide them together and that's what causes them to stand up. But what I did was paint my stuff first. So I used that sage color. Y'all, I'm in love with that color. So I used it on four pieces of this um, set and then I used the color Moss by Waverly. I'm then going to start in on my um, angels and snowmen. And what I did was just paint them with the colors that I wanted. Like I had blue for the angel and like a pearl color for her wings. And then I had just a snow white for the snowmen. And also that black color from before um, that we painted the frame with is what I used to paint each of the snowmen's hats. And I painted all of these pieces front and back. I then took my sanding block and went over everything. I wiped them all down with a wet paper towel, slid them together, and check out how stinking cute these turned out, guys. I love these. I, I absolutely love these. Y'all have to let me know what you think about these in the comment section. that you guys have enjoyed these Christmas in July DIYs. I had a good time putting these together. It's kind of fun to like bring out Christmas in the middle of summer, especially in Tennessee when it's like 115 degrees for gosh sakes. No, it's not really that hot, but it sure does feel like it. Anyways, I hope that y'all enjoyed these. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family and subscribe. That would be awesome. Plus hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. Thank you, and y'all have a blessed day.